This is a 2009 Ford Escape with a four cylinder engine. We'll be doing a valve uh, cover gasket replacement here. So first thing we're gonna do is with the number eight socket, we're gonna remove these four here and get these out the way. The four coil backs, as well as the sensor here. And then a total of one, two, three, four, uh, five, I believe there's one under here, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, number eight millimeter bolts. So just using an eight millimeter socket, we're gonna remove all that. And pretty much just getting anything out the way that obstructs it from us removing it. So also going ahead and take that out. So let's get started by removing these coil packs here. So I've removed all the coil packs as well as the sensor here and the one in the center here. Unplugged this, uh, just went ahead, took this off of here. Just to get, it's actually connected it's down here. Uh, it might obstruct this slightly just because of the how it sticks out here, but we'll try to shift it out that way. Also remove that line there, that hose. So now with an eight millimeter socket, I'm gonna go ahead and start removing all the bolts in the valve cover and get this out of here. I also failed to mention that there's two bolts in the middle there. Uh, didn't notice them at first because of all the oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those two. Those are my last two holding it and then we're gonna pick it up and get it out of here. Now that I have the valve cover removed, I'm going to clean the surface area around where the valve cover will meet the head. Uh, also what I will um, clean the oil in the spark plug wells here. Pretty much just soaking it up and then blowing out any excess of the air gun. Um, once I do all that, we'll get to the valve cover itself. So now I pretty much just cleaned up any extra oil residue that was on here. With a pick, I'm gonna go ahead and start removing one gasket, the large gasket here, small, two small ones, as well as like a medium sized one in the middle here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start removing those and we'll get the new ones installed. So I went ahead and put some gasket adhesive around it just to help keep it in place. So now I'm gonna go ahead and throw my gaskets in. They only go in one way, so let's go ahead and get those down. So I have my gasket in place now. So an easy way to determine the orientation, you see these two points right here, are larger little rectangular points on the large gasket there. It has to be, um, there'll be two little notches on the end here that they fit into. Um, as well as on these, you'll just happen to notice that there's a little point where the bolts will go in. This is the only one without one of those. So now that I have it in, I'm just gonna start kind of just making sure it's in there pretty smoothly. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it on the engine and get ready to torque everything down. Uh, before you actually put the valve cover on, go ahead and put some silicone here and here where the timing cover meets the head just to get a good seal down. So go ahead and make sure you do that. And then I'll get the valve cover on. So I have my valve cover in place with my bolts kind of set. Uh, so we're gonna torque it down 10 Newton meters, which is about 7.3, seven and a half foot pounds. Uh, the order is gonna be like so. One, two, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So do it in that order and tighten down to seven point three, seven and a half foot. All right, y'all, everything's torqued down to seven and a half foot pounds. Just went a little bit over with it, it's all right. Dipsticks in place, coil packs back in, sensors are back in, and we're done. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, more videos to come.